Vi ska titta lite närmare på hur vattnet binds. We will now look in some detail at how the water is retained in soils. For this I have a little device here. It's a suction plate made by a ceramic material that is permeable to water. And we have attached a half cylinder of plexiglass to it and connected the plexiglass cylinder to a plastic tube. Okay, I start by filling the plate here. I start by filling it with water by sucking. Creating a siphon by lowering the open end of the tube. As you can see, or hear, it is permeable to water. I take up the open end and hold it just below the water level in the cup. The water level is now reaching the end of the tube. I take up the plate from the water. The water level of the tube is now at the top of the plate. We can regard this plate as a soil with rather fine pores. If I lower the tube with water level at the end, 10 cm, nothing happens. I turn the plate around for you to see better. I continue to gradually lower the open end. Now I have created a suction or negative pressure of around 50 cm, and the pores in the plate have the ability to hold the water against this suction. If I continue lowering the end of the tube, you will soon see that air enters the pores. Now air starts to enter the pores and water drips from the tube. If I lift the tube, the dripping and air bubbles stop. It's a very well-defined level for which air starts to enter the biggest pores. If I lower still more, the plate empties completely and air flows in through the pores. The pores in this plate could stand a section of about 70 centimeters. Now I will use the plate to see how a real soil retains water and which suction is needed to get the water out of the soil. I'm filling the plate and tube by creating a siphon and the water flows easily through the system. So fort jag lyfter upp den så slutar strömningen. As soon as I lift the plate from the water, the flow stops. The capillary suction developing in the pores keeps the water against gravity that strives to empty the pores. As I just showed, it could stand a pressure of about minus 70 centimeters before any pore was emptied. Now I take a real soil, a small cylinder with sand having a nylon mesh as bottom. I put it on the plate and supply it with water. The soil darkens as it becomes wet. I saturate the whole system with some overflow. One can say that the groundwater table now is at the level of the plate. Here the pressure of water equals that of the atmosphere, as seen by the water level in the tube. I lower the tube, creating a negative pressure in the plate and in the soil. Now it's minus 5 centimeters and a single drop is falling. I lower it to 10, a few drops are coming. When I have lowered to 15, an intense dripping starts. The pores in the sand are much larger than the pores in the plate and they are emptied by a smaller suction. You can also see how the sample gradually becomes lighter as water is replaced by air. Many pores were thus emptied at minus 15 cm. I continue the lowering and more pores are emptied, smaller pores, and you can see how the sample gets drier and drier.
In this way I can continue. If I wait and measure how much water is drained at each new level, I can calculate how much water the soil can retain against different negative pressures. In this way I get the relationship between water pressure and moisture content, the water retention curve, which is a very valuable characteristic of the soil. Those pores of the plate that are outside the sample are blocked by capillary forces, but water in pores below the sample are in contact with the water in the sample and can conduct water so water can be sucked from the sand. This is a rather coarse soil and very little water is dripped when I continue the lowering. Most pores were emptied before the negative pressure reached about minus 30 centimeters. In a more fine-grained soil, the pores can resist very large suctions. Plants can develop suctions of about 150 meter. That would mean a lowering of the free end of the tube by 150 meter. But it is not possible to create suction in this way. Such big suctions have to be created in other ways.